She cooking dinner with your pants Drinked up, drift out, your bitch know what I'm talking about Pulls up, pull out, we get poppin' I'm cheat up, eat stuff Fossil pants, I'm hot Hello, it is 12.15 The past few hours I've been cleaning up my apartment I don't know what's in me lately Like, if my apartment is not clean Like, 90% clean Like, I get so irritated Like, I could literally throw a fit Yeah! I also am getting my period tomorrow, which I don't know if it's TMI today or tomorrow. So I think that like it's making me a little psychotic. Also, the full moon's on Monday. Being a Gemini, the full moon and my period, um, pray for me. But yeah, I don't know. Like I literally just like took out all the trash, swiffered my floors, like wiped down all the counters. Like I don't know why. And then like last night at like nine o'clock, I felt the need to Clorox my entire apartment. I don't my Nespresso, my juicer, I don't know. Regardless, just made a snack. I'm posting today's vlog right now. Normally I have hypnotherapy on Thursday. Hi, but something came up for my hypnotherapist. She might be actually moving So that was very last minute, but no worries. I have so much to get done anyway So it was kind of like perfect so I'm going to I know I'm doing my makeup right now And I love I'm gonna talk about the foundation after I'm done with that hourglass foundation guys It's life like literally life-changing. Okay, you need to start Koki. I've given you You've gotten so many treats today Yeah you know you have. She's literally in the past three hours probably gotten eight treats. It's honestly an outrage. An outrage, I would say. But I love uh, scooping my avocado. But I'm just having this with it's like sriracha. And like I was saying, I'm doing my makeup right now. I'm going to head to a coffee shop to work on another guide for you guys for a few hours. I'll gauge the time when I'm there to see. I might stay longer. I might leave earlier because I have to pick up some stuff from Whole Foods. And I also have a spin class tonight. At 6 30. Hey, hello, and finally I'm showing my face. <laughs> this will be like the past two minutes of this vlog or whatever. Like, you guys are like, um, is she here? Basically, what is that? My change the settings. I looked a little orange. I needed to fix her. Um, I just wanted to go over a few updates. I need to run soon, but I just had to like curl my hair. I had to put up this vlog and divine timing. You know, it's all fine. I'm all gonna make it there in good timing. Um, but Update on the Immaculate Foundation. Um, incredible. On, on, I was just reading comments on yesterday's vlog, and a ton of you guys are like, one of you guys was like, I'm a makeup artist at Sephora, and I know your skin type, and it'll be amazing for you. And someone, a lot of girls with oily skin were like, that foundation's amazing. It really, really is amazing. It's like, I w I'm trying to know. It's like, okay, so Marc Jacobs or Marc is like my favorite, right? This one is like lighter. Like on my skin, it feels super light. The only thing I find it issue i find with it is because it is very very matte it's so matte if you have dry skin i would run from it if you have oily skin it's my favorite literally by the end of the day it starts looking dewy on me like that's when you know you have oily skin when the most it's a liquid to powder foundation so it literally it looks like powdery on your face i'm like when that looks dewy on me um but it literally lasts on me for like up to it was like 14 hours i wore it and it looked fine like it looked a little dewy but like it looked like i just put on luminous silk or something the only fine thing i find is that it's hard to work with because it does go liquid to powder so you put it on your face skin and it dries really quickly and it dries to like a very very like fine airbrush looking powder but I like to do a cream bronzer on top right like I like to do Chanel cream bronzer which I need to order another one because I'm like a little almost out uh, just the only I always order on Nordstrom because they don't have it on Sephora they don't carry Chanel which is just like kind of annoying but it's whatever just because you know I want to get my points sweetie um but so like whenever I put the cream bronzer on top it's like really hard to blend to make it look good like before I would put it on top of like I would do the remarkable Kat Von D translucent and that and it'll blend it like a dream it's a little bit hard to work with it takes me longer to blend then I and then I put on like an hourglass bronzer in like a palette I have and like blend that out and that was a little more so I do like a little bit like it requires more blending but the coverage it's so light like under skin it feels so light the coverage is definitely medium it's not full like, I have, like, some little breakouts, like, right here, and I didn't cover them. Like, they kind of still are showing through, but I don't really mind. It's definitely, like, light to medium coverage, but it looks good. I don't know how to explain. You know, most things that you say, when I get triggered and I hear the word, word light coverage, like, that actually, like, it irks me. I'm like, light coverage, if I'm going to put something on my face, I'm not going to put, like, for me, logically, it's like, 
I don't see why I would put on like barely there like if it's barely there bitch Why is it there like you know what I mean? I might as well not even wear makeup if I'm gonna put on makeup I want my skin to look good. You know what I mean? And this is like perfect like it still will look good It doesn't look like a BB cream or doesn't look super light where it's like, okay Why would you put on tinted moisturizer? You know other than unless I'm going to spin then I'll put on tinted moisturizer So I look a little less scary um, But this one is just like it looks good. It still looks like you're wearing like you could still wear it with like you know lashes and it like looks nice I feel like if you wore like a tinted moisturizer and then fake lashes you know how that's like odd like this just looks good and you can definitely like spot conceal like I probably should start doing that I have a concealer palette I could just spot conceal like I put on my skin and I have like a few breakouts I don't need to cake on my whole face I can leave it light everywhere and just spot conceal anyway that's a nice combo we're having um I'm just gonna go work at a coffee shop right now on a guide for you guys so that I've been working on so that should be up hopefully by end of week fingers crossed my outfit um the top is from honey bum I'm supposed to take a haul but if you want to order something out my code is paulina20 for 20% off the haul will be going like this week um and then these are some jeans from urban outfitters and they're like not skinny they're like at the bottom they're like open they're not flare but they're just like normal cut and they have like a little like cutouts and whatever and they kind of are, are a little cropped they're really really cute I'll link them down below I'm just gonna wear some like slip-ons from Nordstrom. I'll show you the slip ones I'll wear. Dun, dun. Okay, honestly, I look a little psychotic, but I got a fourth shoe rack. I know this is like, you, you I know I look crazy. Like, I have, I know, I know. Like, <laughs> this is just like my athletic shoes, and then like, I need to like organize. My room is so messy, but like, all the shoes there, and then the shoes on the racks, and then I have shoes in my bedroom. I'm literally like, I need to chill, but I need to like, Organize and donate some of them, but I love gym shoes like I literally dress in athleisure I have like 67 pairs of more gym shoes I want on my wish list because I'm psycho So just yeah, but these racks I'll link them there from Amazon. They're so easy to build I built all of them so heck yeah, I built this one yesterday These are the shoes I'm gonna wear they buy the brand one state they're from Nordstrom They give me blisters after a while, but I'll probably like take them off when I get to the coffee shop It's like outdoors, so that's that I have a juice green juice before I go because I always forget to have them and I know if I don't have it now I'll forget I'm gonna have a quick snack, really quick, really quick, because I'm just like, I don't know, I'm so hungry this morning. I just toasted Ezekiel bread muffins with almond butter, the Justin's brand, powdered sugar, and cinnamon, and I just had a, my kombucha from that huge, like, liter bottle, um, and I'm about to probably put my you know, green juice in here with this before I head out. I really need to go, like, I love, um, like, not going out on time when I was planning, but I'm finally en route to the coffee shop. And I found, I was looking for new uplifting music, as some would say. Um, so I was like, let me just look up on Spotify other people's playlists and steal songs from them. Because isn't that what one would do? So I look up Twerk Out because I just feel as though that category title really entraps um, the type of quality content that I'm searching for. So I'm kind of going through this playlist and it's like so many funny old songs I remember from like school dances in like the third grade. Okay, good, great. I went to like one dance, but still. Mommy, make you grow. Once you pop, flop, flop it for me, girl. Get low if your mama gave it to you. I love when fellow men stare at me. Once you pop, flop, flop it for me, baby. We do both. Oh, pop, black, and drop it. Pop. What's the dance to this? Does anyone know? Was it like? Was it pop, black, and drop it like that? Right? Pop, black, and drop it. Pop, black, and drop it. Pop, black. Oh, I love this song. Like, you know when a song reminds you of, like, something? It's so weird. Like, this song, and Feels Like Vegas by Tinashe from this album, like, remind me of, like, a phase of my life. It's so, it's, like, so bizarre. Like, I, it's, like, the, it, it's just, like, because it, it aligns that vibration, and so as soon as I play it, like, I can remember. It's, like, so weird. Love that I mean. Oh, oh. Made all the good God now. Make you. But um, it's from Sage. It's Peppermint Halo. So it's like the one side's a rollerball, one side's a dropper. Also have my car diffuser in here, but I forgot to bring water to turn it on. So that's fine. Um, but literally it's a rollerball. It smells so good. And what you do, what I do in the morning, I put it behind my ears. I already put it on, on the back of my neck. Um, and then on my wrist. And it literally tingles so intensely. Like it tingles behind my ears. So, so, so intense. Like literally... It's insane and I feel like it literally makes you feel like alive and energetic. There's one called energy that's really really good too but it literally like like your whole f f head feels like cold almost like cool and like also have air going so it's like feels you feel so fresh and awake and you just feel like a fully charged battery. Also I put it under my nose 
sometimes because I really like that. And I bring it with me in case I ever start getting like groggy or tired. I put this on behind my ears, under my nose, wrist, the back of my neck, and it helps like tingle me and like wake me up and it smells so fresh and it kind of like it like tingles your nose. And so it just like I love it. So I'll I wish that was sponsored, but no, I genuinely love it. So I got a million trillion things that I'd rather fucking do. Nintendo be working with you. Little stupid ass, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I don't, I don't, I don't give a fuck, bitch. I don't give a fuck about you or anything that you do. I don't give a fuck about you or anything that you do. I see you got. Oh, my mom's calling in the middle of our, our jam session. Hello? Hello? Oh, oh sorry, I just connected. Hello? Hello? Hi, I was Evan Machini and like, I didn't connect it connected to my iPhone first. Ага, почта приезжала. Посмотрим, что они нам привезли. А, ты не сегодня отправила мой пакет, что? Да, утром еще отправила. Ты что, ты идешь? Понедельник, понедельник. Ты второй раз уже едешь. Сейчас еду во второй раз специально из-за этой девочки, ну, чтобы разобраться, она и делает. О, мой гаш. Бизи бан. Working бан. Очень, а ты говоришь еще, ну завтра мне придется сделать Пикассо Джаспер, я нашла весь. Ей, я так рада, я надеюсь Пикассо Джаспер сейчас. Я просто приехала, я просто... Talked. My, my mom called me and she literally had drove twice. She drives like so many times in a day to ship packages. It's insane. She, that woman hustles so hard. And she also sent me like two other ones I really, really wanted. But let's go to the coffee shop and work. Hi guys, I'm back. It's about five something as you can see. I was at the coffee shop for a few hours. I ended up working on so many of your guys' birth charts. I finished like all of them. I thought I was gonna have time just working on a new guide, but obviously it was my priority to get things out, like the orders that were already created versus working on new products. So basically I was working on that and I scheduled all the next week's Skype calls with you guys. So that should be scheduled or check your email. I think only have, I only haven't gotten like two replies. Everything else is scheduled. Hello. Hello, my pumpkin angel. I'm, I'm supposed to get my period today or tomorrow. I know that's like TMI, but I'm like, you know, when you start feeling it, like I feel like, like, I don't know, I'm starting to feel like delusional or like a little bloated and like my stomach's starting to hurt. And if you've been watching me, you know I have really, really, really bad cramps. I talked about it before. Um, I'm not like, I'm not, I don't like personally do believe in birth control, but that's a whole, I think I talk about a different vlog. Um, but so I do like a lot of like natural remedies. I'll still take Midol because it's like really bad, but like, I have like essential oils and things I'll try to do and like whatever, shower, whatever. But I have a spin class tonight and I really want to go. So I haven't taken any Midol today. I've just used the Moon Cycle essential oil from Sage and it really does help. Um, I really like rub it like on my stomach and everything like that. And like the smell is like, it's like anti-nausea. So it really, really helps. And so I really want to go today. It's like I have to leave in like 40 minutes. I think I'm just going to go. I think I'm just going to pop two Midol, put it in my Diva cup, and hope for the best. I love honesty. I love being a woman. Um, but also, guys, literally my hair is fourth day hair. And I put in that Uwe dry shampoo foam again. It literally looks like it's second day hair. This is fourth day. Like, I don't know. It looks, it's crazy. But I went to Whole Foods. Like I said, to pick up a, a few items I had to, I got flowers, I put them in my bathroom, um, they're like white roses, I love it, I know, a little extra, but whatever. Basically, my mom tried out this brand, uh, this product I'll tell you about, and I was like, literally, mom, you're becoming an icon, like, you're inspiring me. She's like, yeah, I picked up maca cold brew coffee the other day from Whole Foods, and I was like, girl, and she's like, it was incredible, so I, she picked it up, it's by this brand called Rebel, and it says, it's maca cold brew coffee with vanilla and maca, super herb powered coconut milk elixir, organic and ethically sourced. That is my dream man right there, ethically sourced? Like, oh my god, so it says maca, the famous, famous super herb, has been long held as gifts from the gods by an... an in Incan, in can I'm I'm saying it totally wrong. I'm so I apologize in advance. I know I am. Renowned for its energy promoting and stamina enhancing properties, and carefully crafted, crafted with exceptionally smooth cold brewed coffee and coconut milk. This plant-based powered super brew is ready to support your balance, your, revive you, and let. Sorry, I like I'm like high or something. I'm not. I don't smoke at all. I'm just like I don't know why I can't read this. This plant-powered super brew is ready to support your balance, your revive, and your all-day thrive. Okay, you know scratching is bad and you still do it, it's not okay. 
like they use the word thrive okay coco please don't knock it down i'm so scared she's gonna knock it down come here come on i'll give you a treat if you come down in a second this is just like so is this like me in a, in a product like me maca coffee coconut milk ethical organic non-gmo dairy free contains coconut thrive oh my gosh i do a taste test shake well as well i'm so excited guys this is delicious my life has changed mm. wow i'm gonna have the rest of this um then they also had the one else it was matcha latte whole leaf green tea and forest honey um, so I got this. I don't know. I haven't tried this. And then it gives you, it's just like so beautiful. It, like the packaging is just not, no GMO, no gel and gum, no cane sugar, sugar, no grains, no agave syrup, no courage, none. Like the packaging is just so like beautiful. Like I like, I love the packaging of this product so much. And I love the way like the descriptions, like this is like very, I love like descriptions and bolding and like things like that. Like it's very aesthetically pleasing. So I picked up one of the, you know how many, I don't know how many of those, I'll show you. More bananas, cause I'm running out, I have one left. I don't know if I ate her already to make my little snack. This is my favorite chocolate, it's vegan. And it's by the brand Nom Nomad, small batch raw dark chocolate. This is in coffee crunch. It's soy free, dairy free, paleo and vegan. You know, good stuff. So I'm drinking another kombucha that I have in the morning. Someone recommended tart cherry, or a bunch of you guys actually did, and I got it. Came in a cart cherry, cart cherry, cart cherry, cart cherry. I was sorry, tart cherry. I freaking love this. It's delicious. I need to finish this. It's my like third kombucha of the day. I don't know. It's kombucha is so addicting. Like me and my mom were talking. My mom and I were talking. My mom and I were talking about it literally it's delicious like and it's so addicting like if you don't like if you start having it every day like you knew it's like halfway hi bun she's waiting for her treat she's literally laying on the ground on her back being like um sweaty i was promised a treat but like if you don't have one midday like i start getting like oh my gosh weirded out but i also got this one this one looks very interesting kvita cleansing probiotic the word cleansing, a little triggering, but cleansing probiotic apple cider vinegar tonic in turmeric ginger. It's not like a lot. Turmeric ginger and apple cider vinegar and kombucha. We'll see, you, girl. I picked up some diced onions to put on my zoodle dish. I'm gonna make dinner right now before I'm like pretty hungry. And then I got two more of those coffees to have. I don't know what, what, what I'll have, when I'll have these. Maybe I'll have these instead of my bulletproof in, on certain mornings if I'm, I don't know, feeling it. Because I don't, I try not to drink after, I used to have to drink like three to four cups a day of coffee and after, after doing bulletproof, I only drink one coffee and then just once in the morning and that's it, that's all I need. So that's crazy. And after like eating well, like I have enough energy to make it through the entire day. Um, this is a matcha latte. Mm -hmm. But I do like kombucha in the middle of the day. I think it is a good pick me up. That's all I got. Mm. Good stuff, ladies. Coco wants her treat. She's literally staring at me like, you said you're gonna give me a treat. I'm here waiting. I don't like broken promises. She's so cute. Do you wanna say hi really quick? A last hello? Do you wanna say a last hello? Do you wanna say hello? That I'll take that as a no. Yeah, I'm gonna take that as a definite no. She's looking at the onions. I love you guys so much. I'm gonna go to Spain. Yeah. Firm it. I'm gonna do it. It's so crazy. Like basically I don't so okay mini rent So if you like people who go to spin a lot, maybe you get this too Like everyone has their own bike Like I don't know how to explain it Like if you always go and you always set up a bike everyone kind of like respects that like I know all the girls there who go every day We all know each other. We're very friendly like your pals because you go every day, right? And like everyone sits in the same spots. I would say especially the front row people every day That's just kind of how it works like I don't know if, if you've been going to studio a lot, like I've been going for two years, like almost every day. It's like you just kind of start sitting in the same spot every day. Everyone's kind of like respectful of everyone else's spot 
at least where I go, you can, I don't know, sometimes you're just, I'm scared to say stuff because someone's like, -da 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 -da, you're, in, you're just think you're so cool, blah, blah, blah. But like, where I go, that is the case 100%. And so like, basically, I it was completely my fault. So usually you, you can book like on Sundays for the week. And I was a little late, like it opens at like 12. Um, and so I was like a little late on because I was with my mom. What were we doing Sunday? We were in Malibu, so I was like, you know, busy. I like completely forgot to book my bike. Normally I have a reminder on my phone or I'll ask Alexa to remind me. Scared she'll light up. Um, but I forgot to book my bike for, for this class, for this Thursday class. Or actually what happened was it was a themed ride, so it opened up even earlier. So I didn't even know. So like if, if there's a theme ride at a lot of spin studios, they'll open it like two weeks earlier so you can book it and I didn't know that I completely forgot and so I was like oh my god I like went on and it was like all the, the my seat was taken and not only that like basically the whole front row except for like two really bad spots in the front that I hate were like taken and I'm like I don't know if this is like bitchy like I don't care like I'm not gonna go if I don't get to sit in my spot or at least within like a like a three bike proximity of my spot I don't care if that sounds like entitled or whatever it's my decision and if like I don't know I'm not gonna go I'm not gonna go unless I get to sit there and whatever I didn't I wasn't really like it's not like I get mad I'm just like not gonna go you know it's not like I'm gonna throw up and be like oh my god like get me my bike like I'm not gonna go like I, I don't it's not like the big deal I was just like oh did my bike's take like I, my bike's taken I'm just not gonna go um which is fine I was just gonna go to the a later one today with another instructor that I don't really like but like I'll take him like whatever um but so anyway, then I was at Spin on Tuesday, and my favorite instructor, she was like, oh, are you coming on Thursday, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh, like the whole front row was like literally sold out. And she was like, okay, no, come. I'll try to get you in. So I'm going to go tonight. I don't know if I'm giving you this like weird story. But so like hopefully I get my bike. Um, I'll set the intention, manifest, get my bike. And yeah, so I know. I don't know if that's like a random story, but... I don't know that this kind of I I'll relate this back to if you're in college you'll know what I mean like if you're in a college class everyone sits like in the same desk like kind of like within the first week you kind of find your spot and imagine like for a literally almost the entire semester you sit in the same spot but basically it's like yeah imagine like you you're sitting in the same spot the entire time like for the whole semester and then like you literally come and someone takes it I don't even know it's not even like that because I even like I said I wasn't like upset I was just like oh I'm just like not gonna go I don't even know why I share the story so I'm gonna be like oh my god you're such a bitch like I I know it's was gonna like say that but, but it's like I wasn't like mad and I wasn't gonna demand them to get I wasn't gonna come and be like give me a spot like I literally was gonna keep quiet I wasn't even gonna say anything I like, was just like oh, I just won't go I'll go to a different class like it wasn't a big deal but then like when she asked me you know so I hope it works out you yeah. guys won't believe this manifestation literally you what about three minutes ago I was just sitting on the floor talking about how I hope I can get my bike my instructor just messaged me on Instagram being like hey I was able to move you to your bike and I look at the time, and the time that she messaged me, messaged me was like during the time I was vlogging, like literally three minutes ago. So like while, like this just shows, like trust your intuition because I think about this, like I randomly thought of telling you guys that story, like I don't know, it wasn't really like that relevant, but for some reason it came into my mind and I felt like sharing it. It's probably because she was thinking of me and I feel like I'm very in tune with my intuition and so I felt her thinking about me and so like I decided to share it. So if you ever get like a random thought or you think of someone or you think to check something or you like get a feeling about something and you're like trying to justify it to yourself because a lot of times it's self-sabotage, trust yourself. Like if you get a weird feeling or a good feeling or whatever, like trust your intuition like literally that's so crazy I I looked at the exact time it was literally it must have been while I was like mid convo explaining the situation to you guys that she messaged me was like I got your bike and I literally was saying like oh I hope I get my bike so it means probably thinking of me or like moving me to the bike and as, as I as she was doing that I felt that intuitively and so I was sharing with you guys and I just got a DM that she made me to my bike and I'm so happy I'm just like so grateful like thank you <laughs> thank you universe thank you so much like I'm just saying like take a moment of gratitude real quick you can take it with me and say something you're grateful for today we'll like close our eyes really quick Okay, but yeah, I'm about to cut my roses, drink some kombucha, and make all the night guys. They've been talking about the way I do what I do. They heard I was good, they were gonna make a move.
to fold like a house of cards This old me goodbye, she's dead and gone, dead and gone, dead and gone